Yeah. Uh, Mr. Berger. Twin Falls area chamber. We don't have any two billion dollar income that's getting built. <laughs> <laughs> Right. No, but you do have you do have a yellow cake uh, file in Albertsons, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, good morning. Um, I'll go quickly since Rob took all my time. <laughs> I uh, want to thank you again for the opportunity to uh, to apply for funds for the Twin Falls Chambers uh, grant in our region. Um, I think a lot like Idaho Falls, we aren't uh, we aren't proposing a lot of changes to, to what we'd like to do next year. Um, to what we've done the last couple of years, there are a couple of exceptions there, and I'll just run through this quickly. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I want to point out how closely we work with. Southern Idaho Tourism, which Debbie will be presenting next, I believe, uh, to make sure that we're not duplicating our efforts in spending these monies inappropriately. Uh, when I first started at the Chamber about three and a half years ago, you know, there were times where we each end up with an ad in the same publication that was basically saying the same thing. Um, we just, uh, the last couple of years, really have, have gotten away with that, um, to the point where we almost segregate which publications and advertising opportunities we look at. that we tend to focus in Northwest Travel and some of those. I do some, some airline advertising, airline magazines. Um, so I just wanted to point that out, that we really are trying to make the best use of these funds uh, as we can. <clears throat> in the coming year, um, one of the things that, uh, that we'll be doing with our grant is trying to better target who the, the potential visitor to our area. I think previously in the Twin Falls area and we call it South Central Idaho, we've sort of looked at ourselves as the uh, place you might pass through on your way to someplace else. And we kind of had this shotgun approach of uh, it'd be swell if you'd stay with us. Um, we're getting to the point now where uh, outdoor recreation is a primary reason people are coming to visit us, not just to come see their friends and family, not just on their way to someplace else. Uh, so I think if we can target particularly some Generation X folks, um, primarily tied to the rock climbing opportunities in the City of Rocks, um, and base jumping, although not everybody may be coming to base jump, I think uh, the people who like to come watch that tend to be a little more extreme, perhaps a little younger, and we can find other things for them to do in the area. So I'd like to focus in on that. Uh, the second group that I think we need to do a better job of targeting are family travelers. We do at the Harrod Center uh, in Twin Falls. A lot of outdoor uh, recreational opportunities that are family friendly. You know, we have uh, white rod rafting that I wouldn't um, compare to what you would see you know, on the salmon. It's stuff that I take my kids on, so uh, I'd like to find a better way to target those. And uh, I've found several publications, you know, Parents Magazine, Family Fund, that do you know, regional breakouts and some advertising opportunities so that we focused in the last there would be some opportunities there. Um, again, this is a very rough budget. In fact, I told John this morning I probably asked him how many there is, but, uh, but I'll sail through these quickly. Advertising is our first element. Um, again, we use our uh, images of Southern Idaho Magazine that I know you've all seen in the past within the uh, three years. Uh, now, uh, very well received uh, publication all 10 or 11,000 cops of that are out the door, usually by about October, and we can start distributing those in January. And again, we share those with, with Debbie, and those are going out to all of the um, visitor inquiries. That There also is an online component of that. It's actually a virtual magazine. You can come through it online. And so <clears throat> I think we're reaching even more than those that were just printing. Um, television advertising, we have done that the last two years and actually received some matching grant funds from the Velo Corporation uh, on Northwest Cable News and then with uh, KTVB in Boise and KTFT in Twin Falls. And they have matched dollar for dollar the funds that we have put into that advertising campaign. And there's 60 second commercials that promote the general outdoor recreational opportunities, Shoshone Falls, the canyon, rock climbing, mountain biking, and then we have 
what's called a donut hole in the middle, and we plug events into that. So it's sort of this general overview, and then in the middle for 20 to 25 seconds, you see Jazz Canyon, for example, a, which this year is expanding to a three-day event so that it's no longer a Friday or Saturday. It's come spend three days with us. Um, this year we'll also do a little bit uh, promotion of our air show that we have coming at the end of July, although that's proven to be a bit of a challenge. It's the same weekend as the Spud Band Triathlon over in Burley. And, uh, I think the closest hotel room we can get to Twin Falls is probably in Boise. So um, we won't be doing a tremendous amount of come stay with us for two days of that. So this will not in our places to do this. Um, based on the state's research that was, uh, we had the overview of the Grand Summit. I do think that as we're looking at Generation X travelers, we may have to look at markets like we in Tahoe, Sacramento. Um, if there seem to be a correlation to those areas to that Generation X and to the state's research, and we need to look further into that. <clears throat> One of the new elements that I'm proposing this year is airport advertising in Twin Falls. We, uh, for years, have had a pretty scattershot approach to display advertising that was actually run by one of our sign companies in town. Um, recently, our airport contracted with the younger agency, the same company that does the Boise Airport advertising, and they are developing a full-blown display advertising campaign. I would like the opportunity to do some local attraction and activity promotion with a specific call to action so that we can track whether that is, is converting what I'll call business travelers into recreational travelers, either extending their business days um, or coming back. Um, you know, again, I understand we shouldn't be spending a lot of these dollars within our own market, um, but I think there may be an opportunity to, to test whether we can bring people who are, are coming for business 